please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update and videos let's move to the next question next question is also an important question so in this question you have to resize the logical volume data copy that is the name of the logical volume in the last lecture we have created a file system data copy was the file system name or logical volume name and it was mounted slash data source now we have to reduce that file system to 400 mb i believe it was somewhere around 800 mb and make sure that the file system contents remain intact node partitions are seldom exactly the size requested so anything between the range of 370 to 430 is acceptable so this is what we have to do it i am just moving towards my lab session so this is the file system okay now it is somewhere around 800 mb now we have to you know reduce the logical volume of file system to 400 mb so in linux if you want to reduce any file system first of all you have to unmount that file system so first step you have to do this okay so this file system has been unmounted now second is you have to you know use the command this e2 fsck and then hyphen f and the name of my logical volume okay and then resize to fs and this i have fired this command e2fs just to check the file system and then at the last here i have to give 400 amp okay and then i'll be reduce 400 amp and the size of my the name of my logical volume yes it has been resized now mount hyphen a df hyphen h now you can see that my file system has been reduced from somewhere around 800 MB to 400 MB. So these are the steps. Okay. See, they are a little bit different. If you are extending the file system, you do not re require to unmount the file system. You do not require the outage for that. But if you are reducing the file system, you have to, you know, unmount the file system. You need the outage. Okay. So here, first I need to unmount the file system and then checking for the file system for any errors. So for that I have just run fsck and then resize 2fs. If you are extending it, so steps are first we have we have to use lv extend then resize 2fs. But if you are reducing it, so first of first we have to fire this command resize 2fs and then we have to use lv reduce command. So two commands which I need to fire here and then simply I have mount the file system using mount hyphen a. So this is the basic commands which can be used to resize or reduce the logical volumes. So friend, that's all for this lecture. Hope you have understand how we can, you know, tackle the questions which can be asked for the Red Hat Certified System Administration exam. So thanks for watching and if you have time, please join with me in the next question.